Hello. Now that you've read Something Wonderful, written by Matt Ritter and illustrated by Niall Gonzalez, let's talk about the science behind the book. Let's talk about the science of seeds. Most plants make seeds, but what is a seed? Every seed has a baby plant inside of it. The outside of the seed is a hard layer that protects the baby plant on its journey as it travels to a new place. Seeds can travel in water, in the air, and even in and on animals. But seeds don't have legs to walk to a new place to grow, so how do they move around? The book Something Wonderful starts with a figged seed falling from the sky. But how did that seed get up into the sky? This seed doesn't have wings. Who has wings? The chestnut mandibled toucan has wings. Birds can fly over great distances. And this toucan dropped the seed while flying in the sky. But how did the chestnut mandibled toucan get a seed? Most seeds are made inside of fruit. The whole purpose of the fruit is to help the seeds move around. When a fruit is tasty and full of sugar, that means an animal is likely going to eat it and move the seeds around in their belly. Fig seeds come from a fruit called a fig. And figs are one of the chestnut mandibled toucan's favorite foods. In fact, many forest animals rely on figs for most of their meals. When a toucan eats the fruit, she also eats a bunch of fig seeds. And these seeds travel all the way through her digestive tract, or her tummy, until they come out. And the seeds come out when the toucan poops. And wherever that poop falls is where the little baby plant will start its life. The process of seeds moving around is called seed dispersal. The seeds have left home, gone on a journey, and landed somewhere new. They have dispersed. And where that little seed lands, the baby plant inside of it will germinate and begin its life. Animals are one way seeds get moved around. Some seeds are found inside special fruits that float around in the ocean until they wash up on a sandy shore. A coconut is a fruit that can float in the ocean for many years until it finds a new beach to land on and grow into a new coconut palm. Other seeds are found in fruits that have wings or little parachutes like a dandelion. And these fruits are dispersed by the wind. Sometimes fruits are dry and hard and covered with a prickly coat. These seeds hitch a ride places on passing animals like bears or dogs or even your sweater or socks. One thing is for certain, plants inside seeds are really on the move. And maybe you are a seed disperser too. What fruits have you eaten? Did you notice in the seeds inside? If something has seeds inside of it, then it's a fruit. An apple is a fruit. It is sweet and juicy. And tomatoes and cucumbers are also fruits. You can see all the tiny seeds inside of them. Can you think of any other animals that might poop out seeds? Well, what animals eat fruits? Bears eat many kinds of berries, and when they poop, their poop is full of seeds. This is how new berry plants grow in the forest. Every plant is connected to many different creatures. Many plants use animals to move their seeds around, and this is something wonderful. Don't forget to find a frog on every page. 
This lesson has been brought to you by Dr. Jen Yost, based on the book Something Wonderful, by Matt Ritter and illustrated by Niall Gonzalez.